Hello there, incredible people. Welcome to The Ryan Files, your ultimate source of inspiration. Folks, it's November 14th, 2023. Man, I'm thrilled to kick off today's episode as we dive headfirst into the holiday season, Christmas. I love it. It's just 41 days away, folks. So brace yourselves because by the end of this episode, you're gonna discover that the magic of creating awesome things isn't just limited to the most wonderful time of the year, all right? It's an all year round adventure and today, we're unleashing the power of the scroll saw. Let's go. So buckle up and let's unleash our creativity. I really want to express my deepest gratitude to each incredible subscriber who's joined the Ryan Files community. You guys are the heartbeat of this channel. I can't thank you enough. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the magic button at youtube.com slash at the Ryan Files. I've even whipped up a little neon creation for you right here. That's how much you mean to me. Let's hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I'm gonna keep on delivering amazing content your way. Now, let's tackle the gift giving dilemma. Folks, have you ever found yourself scrambling for the perfect gift and settling for something meh? Well. If you're not today, I'm going to show you how a scroll saw can turn the ordinary into the extraordinary, making gifts that truly resonate. For the uninitiated, a scroll saw is like the superhero of benchtop chopping saws. All right? It's pedal operated, hands free, and with adjustable speed control. It's the unsung hero of woodworking. And trust me, it's less intimidating than it sounds. Think of it as a saw that dances through wood like a, like a sewing machine does through fabric. But hey, we're not here for a scroll saw safety tutorial. There are plenty of those out there, friends, and I'll leave some links in the description that cover safely operating a scroll saw, along with some cool techniques that are certainly gonna help you out, especially if you're a first time operator, all right? We're here to create something awesome. Now, a scroll saw is not going to break the bank. Mine's a cool $100 from Harbor Freight. Affordable, easy to use, and it's been my creative companion for three fantastic years. Let's dive into a simple project that will have you wielding the scroll saw like a pro. I'm gonna be turning this block of wood, friends, into a masterpiece, this Christmas ornament. And I've even got an exclusive pattern just for you. Sign up at theryanfiles.com for a free pattern, and the link is in the description below. First things first, you gotta get the right kind of wood. You wanna start out with softer ones like pine, white wood, or basswood. If you have a table saw, a two by four can be used to make 36 ornaments. That's a lot of gift potential, friends. No table saw, no problem. You can grab a two by two for 18 ornaments. Now here's a pro tip. If you're gonna get a two by four or a two by two, aim for the straightest piece of wood you can and you'll be golden. You can also pick up one and three quarter inch blocks of basswood at most do-it-yourself box stores, hobby stores like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Very inexpensive and easy to work with. Now let the scroll saw symphony begin, friends. First, you need to print, cut, and transfer your pattern onto whatever piece of wood you choose. Carbon paper is probably the easiest way to do it, but it is not rocket science, friends. I'm sure you can figure this step out on your own, right? So what do you say? Let's get to work. You wanna start by drilling holes in the negative area or the four areas that will be cut out initially, all right? Now make sure your hole is big enough for the scroll saw blade to fit through. And safety first, folks. You wanna bolt that scroll saw down, all right? It's gonna vibrate. You want it to be bolted down. And use the jaw to keep things steady. The piece of wood that you're cutting, make sure it's steady. Stay laser focused. Your attention is a hot commodity out there, friends, but in this zone, it's all about the wood, the saw, and that saw blade, and the zen of creation. Now, after cutting out the four negative areas, make the outside cuts on one of the surfaces. Save the pieces you cut off. You're gonna need them shortly, all right? Use masking tape to secure them back in place so you can make the final two outside cuts.
Drill straight, cut wisely, and voila, the big reveal. Your ornament emerges, and that moment, friends, is a gift to yourself, I promise. Finishing touches, you can sand it gently, get creative with paint, stain, whatever, add a loop, and bam, you've got a masterpiece. You pop it in a cold box or even decorate a box yourself and you've got a gift that's a work of art. I got this book box at Hobby Lobby for less than $2. Copy a pattern on it, use a little paint, and bam, now that is awesome. Now remember, the scroll saw isn't just for the holidays, all right? Pinterest amazing website that's going to be your treasure trove for year-round projects share your creations with the ryan files community friends and who knows your masterpiece might be spotlighted on a future episode of the ryan files now in this crazy fast-paced world taking that creative moment is like hitting pause on all the chaos we experience in life every day so take a moment and get your creativity on it you won't regret it i promise Thank you for tuning in, you amazing folks. Like, share, and keep this community growing. I want you to join me on Facebook Live this Friday for the Friday Night Mic Drop. And don't miss next week's episode. It's going to be a live interview with the incredible Sean Barker. So get out there, friends. Unleash your creativity and stay curious. And until next time, this has been The Ryan, the Ryan, Ryan Files. Files.